Jesus, who has Welcome to Ludus Volpes. My name's Kirsty. And I'm Phil. You join us as we run through a playthrough of Dive. Dive. Actually, you don't join us as you run through a playthrough of Dive. You join us as we sit on a tropical beach, soaking up the sun's <sighs> beautiful rays and watching young individuals dive um, for a precious stone that's been thrown in by the village elder who seems <gasps> kind of like mean. Um, <laughs> And that's the premise of dive. You play one of those young people in their rite of passage diving for the stone that the village elder has nastily thrown into the ocean full of sharks. It's not nasty. It doesn't make it him a like good person. It's like walkabout in Australia. It's what they have to do. Anyway, I think it's fairly cool. Okay. Um, however, <coughs> um, you, this is one of the most beautiful games I've seen in a long time. Mm -hmm. Um, there's a huge gimmick in there and that gimmick actually works as a little bit more than the gimmick so if you want to join us down on the table we'll run through the rules oh pretty colors. Look at the colors. so in dive you play one of the young people diving for the stone and when we say diving you're actually going to be diving through this layer of ocean here I'll just take these off it shows it really nicely against the white background here. Mm -hmm. um, and these are transparent layers that you're going to be diving through. And on each turn, you're going to be diving through a maximum of five of these layers. Mm -hmm. And each time you dive through a layer, you're going to lift that tile and you're going to resolve what can be seen on the tile. There are only four things that really matter on the tiles. There are green turtles, there are red turtles, there are manta rays, and there are one, yeah. Sharks. <coughs> lots and lots and lots of sharks. I just like to say there are other animals and they're just as important. But not for and the purposes. Marine life. But not for the purposes of this game and this rules description. Yes, but I know. So, what are you going to be doing on your turn? I'm going to try and collect these in as tidily as I can, which is clearly not going to happen today. On your turn. Well, we'll, we'll just put them on, because we'll not get them. Um, <laughs> on your turn, because they're quite useful. On your turn, you are going to be secretly programming your diver on your board. So, do you want to move this out from? Just move this away from now. So we'll, we'll play with these tiles. So on your turn, you're going to be making a decision. Each one of these bubbles represents a different layer on the transparency. And you have to make a decision from what you can see. Ooh, uh, I think I can see a shark. Me too. So you're making a decision on either no shark or shark and you're putting that on your screen hidden um, now the, the numbers for now and certainly when you're teaching this to your friends like tell them to ignore the numbers up front mm -hmm. the, the only decision is not shark shark not shark shark so actually it's a lot of sharks here um, and i think i played all the sharks <laughs> together um, however I'm also going to say. You can't move it. You that then. I That's literally cheating. cheated. That's why that cage is there. Yeah, I know. I literally cheated. Mm -hmm. um, so, after you've finished programming, and I'm just going to program like that. <gasps> so, when you're programming, you can stack tiles, and we'll explain why you stack tiles in a moment. So, I'm going to reveal. Can I see your board, please? I'm going to reveal what I've got here. So, on this tile, we have a shark, both a shark and a red sea turtle. So, have. Both Kirsty and I picked shark. Yes. Yes, we have. So these move across, saying that we've yeah. safely navigated this layer of the ocean. We avoided being eaten by the shark. By the shark. Because we saw it. But who saw the sea turtle first? And that's denoted by how much value you've placed. <gasps> Kirsty picked six, and I only picked five. So. So the turtle helps Kirsty, and she will move forward. Red sea turtle will move forward two additional spaces. Okay. The next layer then, mm -hmm. we've both said shark again, so mm -hmm. we've both got that right. But I, is there a turtle on there? No, there's no turtle. Oh, I need to put the higher one in case. Okay, so we move those across. And then on the third one, we've only got both got three levels. Yeah. Shark. Yeah. Um, and we move over. No turtle. <sighs> That's fine. It's so, okay, at this one. stage, We've finished our dive, we've both mm -hmm. gone to the depths that we've programmed. Once we've programmed that, once we've finished our dive, we've gone all three layers in this instance, it could be up to five layers. 
we look to see how many layers we successfully dived. And in this case, we both successfully dived three layers of the ocean. One, two, three. One, two, three. Now, if at any point, if let's say I put not shark at this level, and we know there are sharks at all three levels, um, the shark, um, I spend too much time fighting with the shark, and these do not score me any dive points, but I would have still scored the dive points above. Mm. Uh, go on. Only up until a certain depth, though. Yes, when the water gets too dark, <coughs> any mistake ruins the whole board, no matter where that mistake happens. And that's where on this board there is a change in colour. Yeah, so it's after 15 when you, light when you get down there. The other thing to look for, so we talk about sea turtles, is the manta ray, the purple manta ray. To so say I was here. Yeah. Now, if I was successful in guessing this manta ray, so I put eight in and mm -hmm. Kirsty's put her six in, the manta ray grabs hold of me and helps me catch Kirsty up, and I move Ooh. to the same spot as Kirsty, unless Kirsty's in the deep. If Kirsty's in the deep, I will only go to space 15. And Kirsty would be maybe down here somewhere. Yeah. But the manta ray is a bit scared of the dark, so it doesn't like to go into the dark. So I'm not sure that's biologically true. Shh. Check it. However. Especially if you're the right? Yeah. However, that's how the game plays. So the game plays really simplistically. On your turn, you're going to take a look at the tiles in the box. You're going to make a decision on whether there's a shark or a no mm -hmm. shark. And then ultimately, whether there's a benefit on the tile or no benefit. Benefits mm -hmm. are green turtles, red turtles, and manta rays. Yeah. If there is a benefit on the tile, you want to maybe um, score. You want to score higher than the values on your uh, dive tokens mm -hmm. than your opponents, and then you'll get the benefit. Pretty simple. First person to twenty-three to catch the rock wins the game. Wins the game. So, before the game starts. Give them a shuffle. We'll give these a quick shuffle. And they won't be messing with them or faffing with them because they'll be locked into the cage. They will be locked into the cage. No, no looking through. No, oh, really. Mm -hmm. <laughs> really. Just saying. Also, one thing that's really interesting to note is there are tiles which have holes in. Those holes are there to guide you and help you, or trick you and trap you. Or trick you. you. Well, I'm still because it, um, it's still fairly early days with us learning this game. I'm still trying to figure out whether it is a benefit or a negative. So just to confirm, the <laughs> numbers on these tokens have no relation to where you put them on your dive board. They are only worth the value <laughs> if your tile has a benefit. So we're going to be looking at this top tile and the tiles beneath it and making some decisions. You'll see a lot, a lot of us moving around in this one to get the light. <laughs> There's definitely some sharks circling deep in the water here. There definitely are. Cheeky monkeys. Mm. I am ready. I am... Uh, She's not ready. Not there yet. <laughs> Okay, I think I am. Uh, hang on, just gonna swap my over. Slowest dive ever. It's not the slowest dive ever. I'm just confirming things. <laughs> okay. So now we reveal our player boards. Bling! Ooh, no one okay. We should move this one side and we're gonna start taking <sighs> off the first tile. So the first tile has a benefit. So we both said no shock. So yeah. we both are gonna get that dive. I put nine in there. <laughs> I put eight. Oh. So I get the benefit. Red sea turtle gives me two steps One, forward. Two. Thank you. The next layer, I said sh no shark. And I said shark. So I end my turn there. They go mm -hmm. off the board. And then I said shark. And you were correct. Yeah, and I couldn't see deep enough, so I just chanced it by putting six on there. So that ends the <coughs> turn. So we're going to move this back to where it was, into the centre. These tiles are discarded from the game now. So you get... You're one. one point. And Kirsty gets three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh, hi. So as hi. you can see, we've kind of balanced each other there. So we move on to the next round. Mm -hmm. I see. Very interesting. Very interesting. Red 
Ready? Just touching. I think so. <laughs> okay, reveal. Kirsty <laughs> doesn't want to dive deep because she can't doesn't think she can see. So on the other one, is there a shark? Yes there is. Yes there is. Um Kirsty could take advantage of the manta ray. Uh, but no she's already caught me up. That. Layer two, is there a shark? I said no, and there I is. Yes. yes. So my go is over. Mm -hmm. And the next one, I said yes. And you were also <gasps> correct. Wow. So I move one further <coughs> down, Kirsty moves two. So one for lime green, and one, two for me. One, two, not three. Three, I said. Sorry, I apologize. Getting deeper and deeper. Okay. Next go. Oh, I see a difficult tile, you see. Can I? Oh, it's like the colour hides it all, doesn't it? Yep. Yeah. And there's a big whale coming up here, which definitely gets in the way. Uh-huh. He's cheeky. So, <coughs> I'm going to go for that there. Let's see the light. I can see why people do shine lights on, but actually sometimes it's better just to move around a bit. I think. Mm -hmm. oh, I don't play with agonising decisions on this game. I take a look, have a guess, yeah, and hope right. it's right. All right, all right, all right. Oh, I don't know how it works. Okay, let's go. Let's go. What's the worst that can happen? Okay. <laughs> well, I've gone for. Interestingly, we've guessed shark. No shark. No shark. Shark. So let's see what happens. See how close that is to the truth. So layer one. There is definitely no shark. Yes. And there's there, a turtle. There is a turtle, and I put nine there. I put eight there. So I do a little so scoot along. One. Next tile. I said no shark. I said no shark, and I said turtle, and I put a three. I put one. I didn't say turtle, I put a three. So I catch up again. Hello. And on the third layer. Yeah. I said shark. So did I. And there was no shark. There was no shark, so we get. We both move on to. And that that's interesting because I thought that was actually on the second one down. Yeah, it wasn't. It was on the third. Oh. So. Look at the pretties. <coughs> so. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. really hard. Okay. I've, I've already picked. Have you? Yeah. I maybe have had too many pina coladas. Maybe. And I'm just picking recklessly. Oh, danger, danger. Um. Oh gosh, I've been very reckless. I've gone Should much lower than I usually do. Okay. <gasps> do, do, do. Okay. Oh, we've got a different Slide opinion here. So, layer one, we both said there's a shark and we are both correct. Yes. Layer two. No shark. No shark, we are both correct. Layer three. I've said no shark. I have also said no shark and we are both correct. <gasps> layer four. I said there was a shark. I said there was no shark. So, so I got that right. I end my go there mm -hmm. and so deep because you haven't got any deeper. So, and you also get the red sea turtle. Because I went for four. Oh, and you got it right. Two. So, the red plasma is one, two. So that's done there. And, and three then for me and four for you. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Ooh, I'm getting close to the stage this whereby if I make a mistake, <gasps> it costs me all my goes. Danger. <laughs> interesting. Very interesting. It's really interesting because the fact that the um, the material that it's made of slightly obscures, which Everything. is obviously the purpose. <laughs> I know, but still. Um, okay. It does 
feel reminiscent of looking into sort of a very clear deep ocean where yes. you've got things tangled around themselves as well. It's really beautiful and really well thought through. Also, I think it's really good because you can't quite tell how close things are. And I know that's the idea of it, but actually you can feel that about it, I think. And as you can see, we're not like staggeringly far apart for one of us playing recklessly and the other one playing a little bit more seriously, but not Sorry, too serious. Speak for yourself. Okay. okay. Oh, are we ready? Ta da! da, da, da. Okay. Well, we've, so gone, we've, we've, we've agreed side. all the way down, so. Okay. Mm, correct. No shark. Next layer. No shark as well. No shark. Oh, the next there layer. There. there is no shark. I put a turtle there, though. I did guess there was a turtle. Well, you did, yeah. So you got so beat I me, get. so you get one more space. <gasps> I have then said there is a shark, and mm -hmm. that ends the turn there. So, how many points did you I get? I get three. One, two, three. And I three. get three. One, two, three. So now I am in the deep. So any, any mistake, mistake wipes the whole of Kirsty's board. <laughs> do, do, do. Just like that. I feel like that's an appropriate musical interlude. But it's part of it. The other thing that's really interesting is the sharks are done in, like they're, they don't feel like they're all the same strength of, of colour. So they, mm -hmm what looks like a darker one might actually not be closer to the surface, might be lower down, so. There are actually three different designs of sharks there. Are, there. yeah. So someone's going to be staying in the aren't they? Oh, it's difficult to tell. It's so difficult. Okay. Do I? Don't I? Do I? Don't I? Go with your gut. Go with your gut. I think that's the right thing to say. Okay. Okay. You'll find Kirsty will now be diving much more cautiously. She's got deeper. Are oh, you mean watching me? <laughs> 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 okay, so. So instead he wins the Reveal tile one. There is no shark. No shark. I agree. Mm -hmm. um, oh. The manta ray would have been irrelevant for me anyway because it would only take him to 15. Um, I, I wanted to secure the manta ray in case you did try to do it by having a higher value. So I, I put said, eight on it. I said shark and there so was did a I. shark. So I got that right. No, I said shark again. You're and right. There was a shark. I thought that was the layer with the turtle. It was not the layer with the turtle. And then I said shark again. But you get the turtle anyway because I didn't play. Like that's that true. And so I said shark again. So mm -hmm. I get the two points for the turtle. So one, two. And then I dive four and you dive two. One, two, three, four. One, two. Ooh. Ooh -hoo -hoo. Now we are both in the deep and both at risk. Any mistake. Yeah. So you can we need see now why I play cautiously, because it's safer that way. Or is it? Let's have a look. It's really difficult to tell. I can see some nice octopus there as well. I like the fact that they put other wildlife in the same colours just to try and throw you off as well. I mean, that's just, that's just clever. Just clever. Okay. I am ready. <laughs> so am I. And I think my cautiousness might actually end losing me the game this turn. <laughs> 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 okay. So, layer one, I've said no shark. There is I no said shark. No shark. And I get the two space for the turtle. Oh, one, two. Oh, no. <laughs> and Kirsty has said no, no shark. shark. Oh no, there's a green turtle as well, so you get one. One. Then I go one deeper. Yeah. And then you go two deeper. But one, two. And we've got a tie. So, we're now. <laughs> so we need to actually have a look. Another round, I think, isn't it? Uh, maybe. There's uh, another round to go in to see who goes the furthest. Yeah. Should we just do that? Yeah, let's play let's one go more for round. It. This has never happened to us, as you can tell, because we so don't that, know what to do. That would normally end the game. We will confirm tie break. Um, and it will appear on subtitles, yeah. um, not on subtitles, it will appear as a caption at the bottom of the video just to confirm the tie break somewhere around here. 
and that'll tell you exactly what the tie break would be, but we're going to play just one more round. I don't know, you know. I am not confident with this. I am not confident. I think there might be another, more, another layer to what I see than there is. You ready? Yeah. Okay. I've gone for three because I think Chris has gone for two. I have gone for two. <laughs> but I've said sharks all the way down because I think in the tentacle is a shark. <gasps> I couldn't see. So, sharp, yes. I got that right. Sharp, yes. yes. And this really is the deciding tile. Yeah. If there's a shark here, I've won. Otherwise, Kirsty's won. So, all, because we're in the deep, <laughs> all of my board becomes void, which means Kirsty moves forward so two I spaces and ends beyond one, me. One, two. I won the game. You won the game. Yes. I'll be a good. Deep diver. sea diver. Yeah, because this this really prepares you for deep sea diving. It makes sense actually because you're using the oxygen bubbles and it's the layers of oxygen that okay. you go through. For those of you who haven't scuba dived before or dived I in any way, don't use the oxygen bubbles. This bubble is like this is not <laughs> preparation for scuba. It will not save your life. Um, I've done go, scuba diving before. Go and learn from Bizak or Paddy. Get a certificate, <laughs> then go diving. Don't do it any other way. You don't don't have go. To get a certificate. Don't go. Oh, look at this! I can dive. Anyway. Um, that is Dive the Game. Kirsty, what do you think? I think it's a beautiful little game. As you can see, it was very neck on neck, neck, and, neck. neck and neck the way um, as we went through. We've never like had a tie before in the no, experiences no, we that we've played with this game, so that was quite interesting. Um, and it was very <gasps> right to the end. And as you could see, Phil played very um, haphazard and yeah. risky. Whereas I was very cautious, I didn't get one wrong. Well, than you? Or did I get one I don't wrong? Know. I think I might have got one. But throughout, I, I tried my best to make sure that I was as much, um, as much correctness. No. As much correctness. <laughs> you heard it here first, folks. English <laughs> is yeah, reinvented. Uh, yeah, yeah. But I wanted to try and make sure <laughs> I got as, as many correct as I could to prevent from any um, cancellations of points. Whereas I played a little more recklessly, yeah. but um, really went for the benefits and bonuses to yeah. sort of try and catch me up and get ahead. And it works pretty much all the way down to the bottom. Mm -hmm. So my thoughts on this game, stunning artwork, nice, simple play. It does have a solo mode as well. So it doesn't, you know, it doesn't, you don't have to be in a, a group or two people. It's suitable for families. Yeah, I think it's absolutely. quite interesting. It's not a game that's going to be too lengthy um, with kids that maybe just want to have a quick go and then go and play outside, whatever. You know, it's something that they can just do. The fact it's got all the different, you know, wildlife on, it's, it keeps you occupied. Yeah. And the, the holes make it trickier. Yeah. The holes, so I've decided, make it trickier, not easier. So, top tip, don't do what we do. Um, don't put your fingerprints all over it because oh, that yeah. starts to stack up. Um, <laughs> we can clean them. So, actually, a genuine niggle because they will need wipe downs every now and again to get fingerprints off. But it's the same with any clear car games. I don't disagree, but you'll still need to do it. Yes. Um, also, another niggle, shuffling these is an absolute pain. However, there's only 36 of them. Don't be a drama queen. Still an absolute pain because <laughs> Kirsty hasn't shuffled them yet. Yes, I have. I did them the first time. <laughs> did you really? Yes, I did. Okay. Um, Shows how much attention he pays. And actually, you probably don't need too much shuffling, to no. be fair. No. Um, it's fun. Play it for. Please, yeah. please, please play it for fun. Yeah. This is not a game to sit around and seriously ponder. If you're if you if you're sitting down playing this game and you're overthinking what's happening at each layer mm. in here, walk away from the table. You're not yeah. having fun. No. This this game is And you're made spoiling other fun. fun. Yeah, it's made yeah. for fun. It's so not, play it with play it with that in mind. And yeah. I don't mean to criticise anyone for how they play games, but please when you're playing a game like this, just enjoy it. Yeah. Just enjoy it. Make Last decisions. Sure. You can be the game can be over in twenty minutes. Yeah. Like you can set you can up and go again, one. it's fine. Um, yeah. and because it like literally it packs away, that just goes in the box like that, and the tokens mm. go in and it's done, it's away, and you get it out just as quickly. 
it's an ideal game yeah. for just quickly setting up and playing and yeah. the insert is even marked with the different components just in case you're not 100 percent sure the insert is marked inside say like counters then yeah the dive tokens etc yeah. there's an additional module you can add as well which mm -hmm. adds animal companions which is kind of weird but fine cute. each they are kind of cute mm -hmm. each one it does a slightly different ability you've got a squid that you basically just put on there and then for the rest of the turn people can't see under the squid um, you've got, you've got dolphins, a little family of dolphins, and you give a small dolphin to another player, and if they have a perfect round, you get another step on the dive ladder. Yeah. Um, there's a, an there's okra. 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 Okra, okra, okra is a thing you get in curries, yeah, um, no. and not to be confused with killer whales. Um, yeah, okay. That can go badly wrong if you confuse vegetable with killer whales. Anyway. And if you play the orca <laughs> token, you then count, whoever plays the orca token counts down from 10 to 0, yeah. approximately a second per number. Ten, and, and at that nine, point, once you get to 0, eight, um, seven, people have six. to stop planning. Yeah. It, it um, puts the, yeah. the pressure. And if I'm playing the orca, my, my 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. That's not fair. That's not seconds. <laughs> there has to be some level of regularity to it. So the animal companions adds a little bit, but it doesn't change the game fundamentally. It doesn't. No. It doesn't. It maybe spices it up a hint, but it yeah. doesn't even change it that much because it's a one. It's a once per yeah. game effect. So it's just a little little addition to those, yeah. or maybe um, you know, if you're people who are first having a go and need that kind of little bit of a confidence boost, maybe. take a little sea friend with you. And I'm going to stop now because there's a huge risk of overanalyzing this game when <laughs> it's just not worth it. It's a game for fun. It's beautiful. Enjoy mm -hmm. the artwork. Enjoy the game. Put it away. Get it out the next time you've got family around or the next time you want something to just, just get people started. It's, you know, it's a great game for like, sort of a group of people who don't know each other on the start of a game night. You can just sit around and you, you're going to be laughing. You're going to be talking. And yeah. You, I, yeah, it's fine. So swimwear is optional. Swimwear is absolutely optional, mm -hmm. and you don't want to see the speedos I'm hiding under here. Um, anyway, if you've enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and hit that notification button because then you'll know when we release new videos. Don't forget, we're also on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Just search Leaders for Pets. Thank you so much for your time today. Thanks, everyone. See you soon. I'm going back to the beach. Bye bye. Bye.